We are taken back to our supplier record. Great. Let's add the contact info for the shipping manager at ABC Chemical. Click the Add a Contact button. We'll add Jim Public, the shipping manager. Click the Create button. Great. Joe's task is complete, but he needs to let us know. Click the Tasks tab. Select Joe's task and click Edit on the far right. Let's update Joe's task. This task is closed. Added Shipping Manager. Please move to Approval. Here, Joe is letting us know he is finished and the supplier needs to be approved. Click the Update button. Now we've added our basic information, a parts list, an ISO certificate, and performed a task. It's time to approve this supplier for use in our quality system. Let's log in again as our manager user. Click the Task Center. Click the Tasks I Assign to Others tab. Wow, right from this screen we can see Joe's completed his task. Working with tasks in FreeQMS is convenient and easy. Let's click the task. We are back at our supplier record. It's time to approve this supplier. Click the Approvals tab. Click the Add Approval Cycle button. FreeQMS is different from other EQMS systems in that it lets you label approval cycles. This is because approval cycles may be used for different things in different processes, and because an approval cycle is required to approve and disapprove a record. Approve ABC Chemical. Let's select our current user and Joe. They form a supplier management team responsible for approving records. Click the Create button. There is now an active approval cycle on this record. We can see in the upper right corner this record is now routing for approval. Because our current user is a manager with the Create Edit View permission, he has the ability to edit or cancel this approval cycle. Any changes to approval cycles are permanently recorded in the record history. Users without the Create Edit View permission cannot modify cycles. Click the Approve or Reject button. This is where a user will electronically sign the record. Enter the password. We've electronically signed this record as approving the supplier, but we are still waiting on Joe to sign. Login as Joe. Click the Task Center. Wow, once again, Joe has an automatically generated task, this time from the FreeQMS system, to participate in a supplier approval process. We can see the automatically generated task, waiting on my approval. If Joe had already signed the record, but others had not, this would read, waiting on others approval. Here on the far right, we can see the assigned by in italics. Anytime the assigned by is shown in italics, this indicates a system generated task rather than a user generated task. This is all validated functionality. Click the task. Now, Joe is part of the supplier management team, so before he approves this record, he should do one last quality check to make sure information is accurate. Click the information tab. Joe will check out the information on the information tab to make sure everything is accurate. Click the files tab. Joe can double check this ISO certificate for accuracy. Click the approvals tab. An approval cycle is running. Joe is the only remaining approver. Click the Approve or Reject button. Enter the password. Click the Approve button. This supplier is now approved for use. We can see the supplier now shows as approved in the FreeQMS system. Click the Information tab. The last evaluation date now shows the today's date, with the next evaluation date showing in accordance with the evaluation level. This completes our how-to video on FreeQMS supplier records and approval. Companies may use the free suppliers module to enter and track as many suppliers as they wish.